Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll show you how to check sent requests on Instagram. But before we start, hurry up and check out our little software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we have to do here is we need to access Instagram via our PC. Because uh, accessing Instagram via our PC and doing the following steps that we'll be doing uh, later on would actually be a lot easier. But if you want, you still want to do this via your phone, these steps are going to be the same thing. So what we need to do here is we first have to open up any browser. So go to any browser here and go to Instagram.com and basically log in into your account. Now from here, what, you, what we need to do here is we need to access the more section at the bottom left of your screen. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to access our settings. Just click on settings. And from here, we have different options that we could do. So what we need to do here is we need to actually download our information. So to do that, we want to click on see more in account center and it's going to reload your page here. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to go to your information and permissions. And from here, you have the option to download your information. So go ahead and click on it. Now from here, you'll be able to see all of the available downloads that you have before. So if you haven't done this before, it's not going to show anything here. So if that's the case, you go, go you could go ahead and click on request a download. And from here, you could choose all the accounts that you want to basically request a download of, of information for. In this case, we want to go ahead and just choose this account here that I have for Instagram. And we want to go ahead and click on next. Now from here, you could go ahead and select a ty the type of information that you want to download or you could have a complete copy. So in this case, we want to choose complete copy and from here, we could change a few things. So you could also change the date range. So I suggest that you use the all time here though, it would take more time because we'll be downloading a lot of information here. So in this case, choose all time. And from here, you could choose the notification way. So meaning this email address is going to be the one receiving notification that the download is not ready or the download link for that specific file or information is not ready. Now for here, the format, I would suggest you to use HTML because this one is going to be easily accessible if you use HTML. And from here, media quality, we could retain this as media. Now, once you've done that, just click on submit requests and your request to download your information will now be sent. So as you can see, it's now in pending download, but whenever you visit your information and permissions again here and go to download and information, the only thing that you need to do here is just click on the download button here and your file should be downloaded. So in this case, let's just open our file here. Go ahead and open it up. And from here, what you need to do is you need to look for the section that says followers and following. So what we need to look for here is the following.html. But due to privacy reasons, I won't be able to show it here. But yeah, you just need to open up this file here and you should be good. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.